This is full disclosure. Ooh. Ooh. Um, not really much full disclosure to us. We know exactly what's happened. Uh, but Steven has not let Connie know exactly what happens and doesn't want to let her know because she's afraid she'll either panic or it'll put her life in more danger. Somehow. Um, I think Steven's just afraid to commit. <laughs> Typical guy. Yeah, you can tell by when she said, tell it to my face that he's just like twin waterfalls. Like, I, I, I need mean, twin man. waterfalls. Uh, so, and that's pretty much it. Um, on the one hand, it's like, you know, on paper, I should really like this. I kind of like the stuff like after a big event, sort of letting the psychological stuff sit and sort of like you know, breathe in and take it all in. But a lot of this stuff, just maybe because I've seen it so much with the... Feels arbitrary. Maybe because I've seen it so much in the I have to protect the loved one so I cannot tell them. It's just been done so much to death. And... No, it, it bored me. But I will say this. To this episode's credit, it did this all in one episode. How many times yeah. have we seen it where this would have dragged on for like four or five episodes before they finally get back together again? When I saw the thing that was like, I don't want to be friends anymore, I rolled my eyes. But then I was also kind of thinking to myself, they, yeah, they can't be doing this for a couple episodes. And they don't. They wrap it up, which you're right. I'm glad they do wrap it up. And there there are some good stuff. I like the, actually that song, I really like incorporating the, uh, the ringtone into the song. I like I that, that though. Clever. A song that incorporates my cell phone ringtone, that would be like my worst nightmare. That is like <laughs> hell. I, <laughs> I, I, like, are oh you God. like me? Do you hate it when the phone oh, rings? I hate the sound I despise of a it. Cell phone. No, that's why people oh. are always like, well, why don't you put a more pleasant sounding ring? Because then I'll I'm... just hate that ring. <laughs> yeah, eventually. I'll hate pleasant sounds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I don't want that. It'd be like freaking death metal, and I'd be like, this is awesome. And then about three days later, I'd be like, fuck this. Yeah, song. that's why I can never put like my favorite song or anything like that as my ringtone. I, I go insane. Um, but. Uh, and then, you know, it's funny, the thing with Ronaldo, I was looking at that, and, you know, them looking out, and I'm saying to myself, you know, again, written, that this should actually be kind of funny, because he's clearly not in the same league as him at all, and yet he's acting like, you know, he's this huge guy, we, we must, you know, separate ourselves from them, we must not let them be a part of our world, and stuff, I'm saying, this should be funny. But I just hate him so much. I you beat me to it. Like I Ronaldo wanted... turns around and leaves, and literally the first words out of his mouth is, "Nope, still hate him." <laughs> and like I looked at him, I was just like, "Like you beat me by one second." <laughs> I literally was about to say, "Nope, still hate him." <laughs> like, it's and one of the... I hate him even more because he's one of the reasons that Stephen goes on this whole stupid escapade of trying to ignore Connie in this episode. He... I'm sure what he said sunk in. I'm like, "Thanks a lot, Ronaldo." It's just like. Fucking Ronaldo. <laughs> you know what would have been funny, which they started to do, uh, is that it would have been funny, Stephen, he starts to get a little too sucked in, and he's saying stuff that doesn't even really make sense. Like, you know, no, I must abandon her. We must build a fence. I'll be the alligator. No, no, we need even more than that. And I can never be friends with Connie ever again. Oh, she's coming up the stairs. Oh, I gotta hide. I gotta hide. You know, it's, I kind of like that. Like, he's getting so deep into it. Like, he's not well, even Well, I liked really his overreaction of, yeah. like, the drawing sh the shades like something out of fucking apocalypse. Yeah, now. the like, shadows no, on him. We gotta... <laughs> yeah, like, I, I needed, thought... I needed a mission, and for my sins, they gave me one. <laughs> I, know, I almost thought they were gonna do a parody of, like, all those superhero cliches where they try to protect the loved one from knowing the secret they identity. They kind of like were, that. almost. Like, it felt like it was going there. I don't know. It was an okay episode. I, I like the fact, at least, that it was really short. The... The best thing in it was Amethyst transforming into the crocodile in that line of just, no, no, you always want to be the crocodile, but you can never commit. Which just, I'm just like, so this has happened before, multiple <laughs> times. I just was trying to wrap my head around that. I'm like, that's kind of awesome. I just like, jazz hands. Oh. Jazz hands. You know, the one thing I legitimately question in this that I don't know if it's like, you know, a, a hole or what, but when Pearl says, you know, the Connie comes up, Stephen, he's not answering my calls, is he okay? Mm -hmm. You know, did anything happen to him? She just goes, um, I don't really understand or follow your human ways, your communications. I'm thinking, like, okay, like, 
we've seen the way their relationships work, the gems and stuff like that. They're uh -huh. pretty damn similar to humans. How can they not catch on to some of this stuff? If anyone was going to say that line, though, and be able to get away with it, don't you think it would be Pearl? She's kind of the neurotic one that seems a little off from... I mean, they're all off in their own ways, but she definitely seems trapped in her own head. Like, Yeah, I mean, it's I don't know. It's one of those things where... I, know, I, I actually like that scene, and I, I love her just a little... Bye! No, it's not that it wasn't funny. I'm saying that, you know, by this point, I mean, don't well, you but think... Keep, but keep in mind, that's Steven's decision to make. Mm. Not hers. So if Steven doesn't want to be seen, that's, you know... Well, I mean, just when she says, I don't really understand your way... But maybe that's part of it. Maybe she, like, she doesn't know how to respond. Maybe well, that's it. it. Do it I tell you either. the truth she or do not, I not? She may not know how to respond, or she may even realize herself it's just a cheap excuse. Like, I, you know, it would be like something on Alpha or something. All of a sudden, he's like, I, uh, I don't understand your human ways later. Could like, be, you yeah. know, it, it could be just, you know... I love they made it up. an ALF reference. Yeah, most amazing show. <laughs> you know what ALF stands for? Alien life form. Most millennials don't know that. Mm. Do they know what But e we grew up with the show. We know. Do they know what ET stands for? Um, Money? No. Steven Spielberg's career? No. What? Entertainment Tonight. That's true. Millennials definitely wouldn't know that. Hey, whatever happened to Lisa Gibbons? I don't know. And John Tesh. Well, John Tesh wrote that amazing NBA theme. That they now ditch. The only yeah. good thing John Tesh ever did. <laughs> yeah. Like, the NBA theme and appearing on Conan. Whenever I watch an NBA game and I don't hear... Da -da 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 it's the coolest theme -da 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 -da. ever. And I, I hate that they don't... Yeah. that That's so sad. Oh, um, Wow, did we get sidetracked. Yeah, sorry. Um, um, but no, I'm with you. It, it's an okay episode. Um... I'm kind of shocked I didn't... Was it just with me on the episode or Alf? <laughs> <laughs> um, both. Okay. Alf is amazing. Um, I but... like cats. Gold. Um, he liked to eat cats. It was very... How were there cats on Melmac, by the way? I don't, it... Maybe it was like a foreign food. They traveled to Earth. You know, maybe the Alf aliens or the, the Melmacians abducted cats... That's why Brought he was them there back to the planet. Maybe. Yeah, oh, maybe God. It was a cat. Okay, this episode's okay. I'm kind of shocked it's... I didn't dislike it as much as I did because it's still Same charming. Way. It's still, even when Steven comes in and starts crying and stuff like that, I'm sort of thinking to myself, this is probably why this episode was made. They had this moment where he has to say something to her, he has to turn her away, and he can't, and he's like super sobbing, I which think is that really and sweet. Honestly, I think the, the scene with his dad was necessary too, where he has the panic attack in the van. I'm mm -hmm. like, I liked that a lot, because, like, okay, he really cares that he's, like, having a small panic attack because of all the, this shit. There were two jokes that, that just went down. There were two jokes I thought they were going to do, and they didn't. Uh, one was that when he says, I, where's that soothing music he puts in? You hear the, raw, raw, and so I thought he was going to go, ah, that's better. I, I thought that was going to be the joke, but again, to the story, that wouldn't work. And the same thing with this other one. I thought when Steven's looking at the phone on the cliff and Connie's calling, he just does ignore. I so want him to just throw the phone off the cliff and then go, that was stupid. <laughs> I kind of thought he was going to pitch the phone too. Yeah, I, I really had that feeling of him that. standing on the cliff like that. Yeah, and again, saying. just he's getting so sucked into being like the martyr and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, but, I mean, that's really, really nitpicking. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it, and we will see you at the next one. We will return to Alf Logs. Elf! Cats! Melmac! Gold. Gordon! Golden. I, I, I got nothing. We need to stop.